Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking all about pre-orders for GTA 6, what you need to know about them, when they're gonna be starting, and pretty much giving you a rundown of everything that you need to know about pre-ordering GTA 6 in the coming months. Now, based on what we know so far, Rockstar Games is planning to open up GTA 6 pre-orders later this year after the release of Trailer 2, and that is exactly what we're going to be breaking down in this video. So make sure to stay tuned, we got a lot of really exciting stuff to talk about today, but first off, here's a quick shout out, and after that, we'll get into the video. Now, today's shout out goes to a really awesome service known as Bring My Song to Life. Bring My Song to Life is custom-made music for special occasions. Order a song for anniversaries, birthdays, weddings, or any other life event. Simply place an order, provide a brief description about what you need the song for, they will make the lyrics and send them over to you for review, and then finally, after your approval, they will begin the song-making process. After your custom song is complete and mastered, you'll receive the download file so you can share the song on social media, with friends, family, or use it wherever else you want. They currently have a 4.9 star rating on Google with well over 100 reviews, and their website is super easy to use as well. So whether you have a special event coming up, an anniversary, Father's Day is actually going to be coming up in mid-June, or really anything else, go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to check out Bring My Song to Life and get your custom song made today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, there's been a lot of rumors swirling around recently that Rockstar Games is planning to reveal Trailer 2 for GTA 6 sometime during this summer season. We don't have an exact date yet, and we don't know exactly when Rockstar is going to be releasing it, but these are the rumors that have been swirling around at the moment. If these are true, that means we should be getting our second official look at GTA 6 in the coming months. Now, based on what we know so far, the pre-orders for GTA 6 are going to open up shortly after the release of Trailer 2. It's possible they may open up with the release of Trailer 2, if not shortly thereafter. Now, when pre-ordering GTA 6, you're going to have two main options that you can choose from. You're going to have the digital version that you can pre-order directly on PlayStation or Xbox, or you can get the physical version on a disc from major retailers, including Amazon, Target in the US, GameStop, among others, or you can order from Rockstar Games directly with their online store. Now, each of these does have its own benefit. The digital version is going to be great for people that wanna play GTA 6 at release. So you're gonna be able to play it right at midnight when the game releases. You should also have the option to preload the game, so you're not gonna to have to wait for it to download. So if playing GTA 6 at midnight at release right away is a big thing for you, then you probably wanna get the digital version. On the other hand, if you want to have something physical and sentimental that you can keep, after all, GTA 6 is a majorly hyped up game, or if you want to resell it in the future for whatever reason, for example, if you want to get the PC version and you don't really need the console version in a year after the release, then you may want to consider getting the physical version instead. Myself, personally, I'm still deciding. I do like getting physical versions, especially of big release titles, because I really like having a physical case that I, I can display and just keep. However, I really want to play GTA 6 at midnight on release, so I am still deciding what I'm going to be doing there. But let me know what your thoughts are and what you're going to be doing in those comments down below. Now, if you get the digital version, that is it. You're pretty much going to be able to get the digital version. There may be a few add-ons that you can choose, including some special editions and DLC content. However, for the most part, that is going to be it. It's going to be priced at 70 US dollars. This is in line with other AAA titles releasing on the current gen consoles, and that's going to be it. Now, if you want the physical version, you can of course order the physical version. It's gonna be the same price. You may have to pay shipping depending on the retailer. However, on top of that, you're also going to be able to get the special edition 
and the collector's edition as well. These are going to be significantly more expensive than the standard game, however they will include physical items that you're going to be able to get in addition to the game itself. Now we of course don't know exactly what's going to be included in the special and collector's editions, but if we look back at what Rockstar did with GTA V, with the special edition they included this really cool blueprint map that essentially was a map of GTA V, but the cool thing was is that you can actually shine it under a UV light and it would reveal easter egg locations around the map, which was a really cool touch. In addition, they also included this pretty cool steelbook case that allowed you to keep the game safe and it had a really awesome GTA 5 logo on the outside, which again was another physical piece that you can keep. And with the collector's edition, they went all out. They included the steelbook case, they included the blueprint map, they also included a pretty cool Los Santos snapback cap, as well as a security deposit bag with a logo and a key that you could use to unlock it, and the whole thing came in a massive box with the GTA 5 logo. Now in terms of pricing, this is very difficult to estimate. Of course, inflation has went up a lot since the release of GTA 5, but if I had to guess, 70 US dollars for the main game, I'd say the special edition is likely going to be maybe 100, 120, and then the collector's edition is likely going to be around 170 or 180. It's possible it may be close to 150, however, that is my personal prediction. So $70 for the main game, that's pretty much confirmed, then around 120, 115 for the special, and then around 150 to 170 for the collector's edition. So whatever you choose, there is gonna be an option for the pre-order for you. And of course, all of these will come with the limited edition DLC content. So whether it is some special skins and outfits, some special vehicles for the garage, all of the pre-orders will come with some digital bonuses, but if you want the physical ones, you're gonna have to get one of the physical versions. So as always, make sure to keep an eye out on the Rockstar Games social media and the Rockstar Games newswire as we get closer to the release of Trailer 2 and the pre-orders. And of course, make sure to stay tuned on this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding GTA 6. But let me know in those comments down below, what version of GTA 6 are you planning to pre-order based on what we discussed in this video? Let me know and why in those comments down below, because I really want to hear from all of you. Either way, if you enjoyed, like this video and subscribe down below for more GTA 6 news and coverage just like this, and I will see you in the next one.